Within the past 24 hours, reports have emerged that the new Tesla Model 3 Highland, it will be significantly cheaper than the current version. Now, I can't say this is going to be true, but the claim is the price reduction is going to be uh, a lot more than what I ever would have thought. Now, I thought the new version of the Model 3 Highland would be more expensive. If this is in fact true, not only are we going to see a significant price reduction, but we're also going to see a much better vehicle with a much longer range. The combination of these two factors would mean it could be game over for Tesla's competition. How do you compete with that combination? Especially when you consider the other 21 upgrades and improvements to the new version of the Model 3. In addition, we've seen some new images of fleets of Model 3 Highlands driving. And yes, they're still camouflage, but we can really get a good idea of what the cars look like because the camouflage is much more minimal than in previous images. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. Hope you've had an amazing day. I'm a little bit excited to see this news. I really thought the new version of the Highland was going to be more expensive. Hearing now that it's not going, well, very likely not going to be, very likely going to be cheaper. I don't know whether or not to believe this, but if it's true, I sure as hell hope it is. If it is, wow, amazing news. Put this, here's some context for you. The Model 3 right now in China, cheapest version, 32,000 US dollars. Reports say the new version, the Highland, longer range, people say it could have up to 600 kilometers of range in the standard range variant uh, with a new M3P battery pack, 27,400. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's, that's well over a 10% reduction in price on the current cheapest model. Well, we've also seen these images showing you, well, you can basically see what the Model 3 Highland looks like from these images. Unfortunately, we can't see it from the back. Well, these images were only taken from the front of the car, but you can see what the lights look like. Uh, you, you can see it doesn't look drastically different to the current version, but it's definitely an improvement in my opinion. And one other thing that's been noticed, apparently there's a yoke in one of these Model 3s here. So you can have the yoke with the new Model 3 if you want to. But why would Tesla have a yoke, right? Tesla said they put a yoke steering wheel, well, in the Model S and the Model X, so you could see the digital screen in front, right? So the steering wheel, the top of the steering wheel wasn't obscuring any part of the digital screen for the driver. So, but the Model 3 doesn't have a digital screen in front of the driver. So really, I'm curious to know why would Tesla have a yoke in the new Model 3 if there's no digital screen right in front of the driver? Does that mean there will be one? What do you think? Let me know if you think there will be one in the comments. I think the front lights as well on the car, even in these camouflaged images, make it look a lot more like the Model S, which is a good thing. I really think the Model S is, it's, I wouldn't say it looks like an Aston Martin DBS, but you know that DB9 kind of look, Aston Martin classic look? I think the Model S has a classic kind of look to it. Really good proportions. I think moving to more of a Model S design is a big improvement. What else do we know? Production capacity is apparently going to be 1,200 units by the time these vehicles go on sale in the first half of September. The Model 3 will have no radars and it will feature hardware 3.5, not hardware 4. What does that mean? Well, I think it will still get the hardware 4 chip, but it won't get some of the features of hardware 4. Now, there's a bit of speculation as to what exactly that means. No one seems to fully know. Anyway. Hardware 3.5 instead of hardware 4, why cost reduction? Will that change in, say, a more expensive version of the Model 3? Possibly. Could be different versions. Now, we can't say for sure that these reports are 100% true, but generally, they've been pretty spot on. Um, I mean, for example, Car News China, CNN Post, a lot of these sources do seem to get things correct, even if they're a bit early, even if we think, ah, oh, this sounds ridiculous. We find out within a few months what they said generally does happen. And Tesla do want to cut production costs for the Model 3. They do want to reduce prices. They do want to take out gasoline. This is how you do it, right? You bring out a car like this at this kind of price with these specifications and you just basically eliminate the ancient dinosaur gas mobile. I mean, I'm personally a huge fan of that. Hopefully that happens. 
sooner rather than later. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know in the comments. Are you as excited as I am? I don't know. I'm, I don't know why I'm, but I'm pretty excited because I think car will really change the game when it comes to, especially when it comes to more affordable EVs. You know, and this is really a premium EV. Now, what is going to happen, for example, guys, Australia, uh, New Zealand, what's going to happen once this new version of the Model 3 comes? Because by the time this comes, the BYD seal will come as well. Will the seal be able to, will it be able to compete with this new version of the Model 3? If you think about it, we thought the seal would be cheaper than the Model 3. But if the Model 3 does get this price reduction, I don't see that being likely the BYD seal will be cheaper than a Model 3. Which one would you buy? The Model 3 Highland or the new BYD seal? Let me know your, what you think. I'm really interested to know what people think on that one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.